name tag so welcome back this is ash from heal my tech helping you go from newbie to techie so you can be the best you can be now just a disclaimer before we start any electronic repair always comes with risk so if you're unsure please consult a professional otherwise do this at your own risk also you should back up your important data before attempting repair on any computers right now i've got with me a um, open up laptop this is this is an Acer E1571. I've got a digital multimeter and I've also got a laptop charger. Now this uh, laptop was dropped and uh, it was not turning on anymore. I did a couple of videos. First was about testing a charger using a multimeter, which I'm going to link up in the card and in the description below. And the second one was about retrieving information from this broken laptop. So we actually got a disc out and we managed to retrieve pictures and files. So again, I'll put a link, you can follow that. Now, the client wants to see if we can fix this. The problem was that it, after it dropped, um, it, it worked for fine for a while because the battery had some charge, but after this, it would not work anymore. The battery would not charge and the laptop would not turn on. If something is not turning on, you should check for power. And there are a few stages for the power to come from the wall socket into your device. And uh, look at the video to, sh to see how to test for a charger. Um, I'm going to show you just a brief recap. The first thing you need to know is that this charger um, has a very narrow port, right? Which means my prong for the multimeter is not going to go in properly. I'm using a nail in this case, but you can use anything metallic that conducts electricity. Okay, this is not plugged in yet, all right? So the, the idea is when I'm gonna test it, I'm gonna use the outside for the black, which is negative, and then touch this one, which is positive. So let's do this. Now, before that, I'm just gonna show you. Okay, I hope you can see that this charger outputs 19 volt and 3.4 to amp. So we're gonna be looking for a DC voltage on our multimeter that it outputs 19 volt to start with. So I've plugged the charger into the mains and I've already tested whether there is 240 volts coming through from the mains. So we're gonna be testing this end part. Again, see the video. I'm using these tongs to help me measure the voltage. Now on my multimeter, I'm gonna select DC voltage, which is the V with the one straight line and, and uh, dotted lines on the bottom. And what we're looking for is whether we're getting 19 volt. So be careful at this point, you don't want to electrocute yourself. Um, outside is the negative, and inside, which is now being conducted by the nail, is the positive. And as you can see, we have on the multimeter 19.2526 volt, which is well within the acceptable margin of error. So we know that the charger is working. Okay. Now, be careful when you want to take this off because this is got electricity. You don't want to electrocute yourself. Now the next thing to do is to check whether power is going to come in th through the laptop. Now this is the charging port here. Okay. And this is where this plugs in. And this is the power cable that comes from the charging port, runs through, and that's one end of it. And this will connect into the power port of the motherboard, into here, into there. So what we're gonna determine first, we're gonna test whether the 19 volt is coming to this end first, and then we're going to test whether the same 19 volt is coming onto the motherboard terminal. Plug in the charger into the port, and there are red and black cables. Can you see that? There is red, two red cables and two black cables, so two positive terminals and two negative terminals. So I'm just going to be measuring the positive terminal and the negative terminal and hopefully I should be getting 19 point something volt right starting with the black so I'm measuring one red and one black 
and I'm getting 19.29, so that's cool. So the second red and the same black, again 19.30, and now the last red and black, 19.29. So we can confirm that the right voltage is coming through the power code. So next thing to do, disconnect the laptop, press and hold the power button to discharge electricity. I'm going to connect, I'm going to connect uh, this into the motherboard port. Well, I've connected that into there. Okay, so there are four terminals again. There are these four terminals here. One, two, three, and four. The two on the right are red, and the two on the left are black. So we're gonna again measure whether we have 19.30 something volt coming in, right? So let's hope we can get that done and uh, plug in the jack again into the laptop. Again, be very careful. And uh, we're gonna measure black and red again, all the four terminals. So first black and first red. And if you can see on the multimeter, we're not getting 19.30 volt on the first two terminals. So we'll try the second one. Again, no, we're not getting 19.3 volt. And the last one, we're not getting 19.3 volts. Right. What that tells me with certain degree of confidence is that although there is power coming through the uh, charger and power is going into the power cord up to this end of the terminal before it gets plugged into the motherboard, but once we plug into the motherboard, there is no more voltage being read from this end. That could mean either this end could be damaged or something on the motherboard, a component is damaged or the whole motherboard is damaged. And uh, for my level, for my skill, this is where I stop. I'm not gonna go do diagnosing of board components because I'm not uh, familiar with this type of diagnosis. And even if I take it to someone more professional, they will not spend a lot of time to find out um, the exact cause of the motherboard and replacing the exact component. Um, the point now is to remember that we are sure, we're almost sure that the motherboard needs to be replaced or repaired, but easier to be replaced. Um, and this is how you diagnose for whether the problem is with the motherboard and with other parts of the laptop. So hopefully guys, this was educational enough for you. Uh, again, do remember, it's very risky, so make sure you take your precautions. And if you're not sure, please consult a professional. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. This was Ash from Hill My Tech, helping you go from newbie to techie. So be the best that you can be. Remember to subscribe and leave me a comment down below. Until next time, peace out.